Diabetes in Ethiopia, like in many other developing countries, is increasing immensely. Some 30 years ago, diabetes was considered to be a very rare disease in Ethiopia. But currently, Ethiopia stands, according to International Diabetes Federation figures, as the number one country in terms of the number of people living with diabetes in the African continent. So there is really a huge increase in the magnitude of diabetes, not only in the number of people living with diabetes, but also people living with complications are also uh, huge. So diabetes has become really an important public health problem for our country. Uh, diabetes in Ethiopia is a huge burden and uh, according to IDF uh, data, the prevalence of diabetes is uh, anywhere around 4% of the adult population. But even some studies in uh, Addis Ababa, the capital city of Ethiopia, have shown that uh, the prevalence of diabetes would be around 6%. But a recent study by the Ministry of Health has found a prevalence rate of 3.2%. Uh, probably less than the previous studies, but I think from clinical practice what we see is a huge increase in the number of patients attending those diabetes clinics. Therefore, I would say diabetes is really a huge public health problem for Ethiopia. Well, there are several challenges uh, for people living with diabetes in Ethiopia. But I would say one of the most important challenges is lack of awareness on the magnitude of the problem of diabetes, its impact on life. So people are take diabetes as a disease of uh, the rich people only. But diabetes is affecting every segment of the population and because it does not have so ma many symptoms, people consider it as a mild disease. So lack of awareness, I would say, and lack of education would be number one challenge for us in Ethiopia. Secondly, the availability of infrastructure for diabetes care are really limited. Uh, we have shortage of healthcare professionals at all levels, shortage of uh, medicines, and shortage of uh, monitoring devices for our patients. So there is a big, big problem uh, in terms of diabetes. One, it is increasing immensely, but there is no commensurate response to tackle this disease in Ethiopia. Well, Ethiopia as a developing country uh, has a lot of health problems, mainly infectious diseases. So until very recently, the focus of uh, the Ministry of Health was more on infectious diseases, but since the last five to six years, the Ministry of Health has shifted also its focus to non-communicable diseases. So now in Ethiopia, under the Ministry of Health, we have uh, a non-communicable disease uh, department with its staff, and we have now a strategic fr framework for the prevention uh, and control of non-communicable diseases. But unfortunately, we still do not have uh, a standalone diabetes program, which we are working on. Hopefully, in the next few years, we'll have a standalone diabetes prevention and control program in Ethiopia. Well, I think uh, the majority of the increase in diabetes has to do with type 2 diabetes, as some of the studies uh, have shown us. And uh, one of the main reasons is lifestyle change. Ethiopia, until very recently, was considered to be a poor country, but now, over the last 10 years, it has registered an impressive economic growth of about 10% growth every year, according to World Bank. And it is the fastest economic growth in Sub-Saharan Africa. So along with this economic development, which is a, a welcome thing to get rid of poverty, but we are witnessing diabetes and other non-communicable diseases growing. So the lifestyle of people is changing. People's diet is changing to Western type of uh, diet, fast foods, energy-dense foods, 
soft drinks, sugary drinks are on the increase. So I would say we need to regulate this economy growth if we are to curb the tide of diabetes in Ethiopia. ESD for me is like a postgraduate course because this is a place where you get new ideas, new innovations in the management of diabetes and new drugs. So, so far this, is, this has been really an exciting and this morning after the opening speech we had a fantastic lecture on prevention of diabetes which is I think the most important thing for developing countries like Ethiopia. We cannot invest in management of diabetes which is a very expensive disease but the only solution we have is to prevent diabetes so that has been a very good uh, highlight for me and then the break through in some studies that uh, we have heard will also help us to manage better people living with diabetes in Ethiopia.